Hello, everyone. Today's topic of discussion is first party and third party reviews to where we're going to discuss what is a first party review, what is a third party review, and why does it matter? Um, yeah. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Crystal? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of confusion about this topic. And, you know, the, the benefit and the real takeaway for you guys is, is that if you get this right, you can get, because everybody wants to get first party reviews. Okay, so first party reviews, or rather third party reviews are like Google, My Business, Yelp, et cetera. And those are like, you know, those are, yeah, they're, they're the 10,000 pound gorillas out there. You know, you've got, you know, you got Google. When you get the, when you get a review on Google, it helps your rankings. It also makes it easier for people to make a decision about your business because they're on, they're live on Google. And or they're live on Yelp. And you get the added benefit of when people type in your business name in your city, which we've been just saying over and over and over again. If there's one thing you take away, do that, guys. Like, do, like type in your business name in your city and the word reviews and see what directories show up in that search result. Based on that, you want to target the ones that show up higher in the search result when people type in your business name, your city, and the word reviews. That's what 50% of people are doing when they're looking for your business, when they get referred to your business. <clears throat> so at that moment, when somebody's looking to see what other people are saying about your business, once they've been referred to you by a brother, mother, sister, whoever, um, then you want to make sure that you're, that you've got great, you, that, that those directories that are showing up are as close to five star as possible. And those are the third party directories. They're, they're not first party, they're third party. They're other directories. They're a third party that's giving you reviews about your business or that, that where people can go to to leave reviews about your business. It's Google, it's Yelp, it's Bing, it's Yahoo, it's <clears throat> City Search, it's you know, on and on and on. So <clears throat> why would you want to, to get a review anywhere else other than on a third party directory? If, if you know that, you know, your, your rankings are going to, are going to improve as a result of that. And you, and if you also know that, you know, that's where people are going to see your reviews. Well, the, the answer to that question is, is first party reviews are a very important thing to get. And here's an example of, these are third party reviews being shown on our website. So we've got on our website, we've got a place for third and first party reviews. <clears throat> first party, now there's first party reviews. And those reviews are being shown using the schema markup. Why are we doing that? We're doing that because when you use schema markup, this, which is basically just a, it's just a fancy word for the language that Google speaks, okay? <clears throat> when you use the, the language that Google speaks, which is schema, then what happens is, is Google likes it. And what it does is it gives you favorable preference. It gives you favorable positioning. It, it, it does things like it makes it so that when people find your website, it will actually display your website with stars as a result of you using this schema markup language with your first party review. Now, what is a first party review? A first party review is simply a review that is only on your website it's not found anywhere else it's you manage that it's which is totally ironic that google prefers yep. you to get first party reviews <clears throat> and ironically there's no i mean you're the one who basically oversees the these reviews so it's it's like the honor system <laughs> and which is which is kind of ironic because Google actually wants you to get more of these reviews. And what happens is, is you actually have a quarantine period of seven days before you can act, before you even make these reviews live. So what does it do? It gives you much more control over which reviews are seen, which reviews are not seen. If they actually, I mean, eventually they'll go live, but the beauty is, is that you actually can quarantine these reviews and deal with the person that's left the review before the review goes live and work out the issue and have a much higher likelihood that that review is resolved and or 
either the person takes it down or they improve it before it gets out of the quarantine, the seven day quarantine period. And all of this is managed within our system. <clears throat> so I just want you guys to see, and we're, we're going to show you, we don't have one right now, but there, this is new. Okay. It's maybe two months, three months that Google has been making it to, to where you can actually have with your website, these stars, these all important stars. And by the way, just having the stars show up with your website increases the click through rate or the, the, the likelihood that somebody's going to click on your website or in the organic search results by over 125%. That is huge guys. I want you guys to understand that that, I mean, you've really got to understand the importance of that. Um, and I don't know. Do you have an example there, Crystal? Is that what you're showing on your screen? Yeah, <laughs> that example that we pulled up that's showing the stars right here that you're referencing. Okay. Well, that's 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 Yelp. But what I want to what I want to see is I want to see oh. like uh, Barber Barber Bart at the top there, BarberBart.com yeah. with okay. the stars. Okay, that is. I just want you guys to see. Okay, what Crystal's showing here is 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 very close to what what we're looking for it, it in other words what happens is is the stars that you see down there with facebook and yelp are showing up so that link right there the barberbart.com that link right there if you if that had the stars like you like like we're showing there with yelp yep that that is what that is what we're talking about that is that is the what happens when you get first party reviews and you display those reviews with the schema markup language. Okay. It's really important when you, that's what can happen. And, and there's, there's examples of this. You can type in, I think Denny's like type in Denny's in, in a, in a specific city. Um, maybe like, um, yeah, Denny's in a big city like maybe San Diego or something like that. Denny's, San Diego. This is what I was recommending to you guys to do. Is, so they use this. Yeah, but, yeah, and you probably want to type in the word reviews. But let me see. Yeah, San Diego reviews. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now scroll down. Well, wait. Okay. And let's see if we let's see if there's a web. Keep scrolling. So you got you got all the third party directories, TripAdvisor, Yelp. This is a great example. If we just get Yelp, Yelp, TripAdvisor. Okay, I'm looking for I'm looking for the Denny. See, there's a ton of Denny's um, in San Diego, so that's why you got all those different Yelp. So if you got to go to a specific city, then I would go to like Del Mar. Like type in Del Mar if there is one in there. Del Mar <clears throat> reviews. Okay, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for like Denny's.com and it doesn't look like yeah. there is, but, um, <clears throat> but that, that's the opportunity that you have um, because I know that Denny's uses uh, schema markup like we do. Um, let's type in Denny's uh, Palm Beach Gardens. <clears throat> I, and then scroll down, scroll. Yep, because oh, we're because we're looking in the organic. We don't care about the we don't care about the maps. We're just looking in the organic. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There right we here. go. Good. Yep. Bingo. That's it. That is what I'm talking about. That right there is. If you clicked on that too, so what they're using. This is a great example of of what you can have happen. And keep in mind. You're not, you're not a franchise, okay? You're a small business, and you're not going to have all these trip advisors and Yelps and things like that. That's not what's going to happen with your business because you don't have 15 different, you know, franchises in, in one area. That, that, the only reason why you're seeing so – so, in other words, I'm trying to get you to understand that, that it's going to be even that much more impactful when people see your website with these stars with it, okay? Because a lot of times – you might not even have a lot of reviews or enough re reviews 
with your directories, you got to have five or more, at least it used to be that way for Google in order for the stars to show up. And so you, the only stars that show up on the entire page when somebody types in your business name and the city and the word reviews will potentially be your website, which would be great because if you get 125% increase in the click through rate and they go directly to your website, oh my gosh, like that's a, that's a home run, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I just want you guys to see this, that even though there's only three reviews, that's a, such a good example too. Look at that. If you see there's only three reviews there yes. and they still have the stars showing up. So let's click on that and let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> and this is going to take us to um, Denny's replicative website. So they, what they have is I, I call it replicative because it's, it's just a, it's a replicative. It's a, it's a replicate of every in other words so here you go so if you keep scrolling down there's the stars and keep scrolling and it should have those three reviews there somewhere on that page if you just keep scrolling yeah keep scrolling <clears throat> right here it, let's, yeah there we go so what they're are those reviews that yeah there we go so there's the there's those there's those three reviews golden that's it I mean, that's it guys. That, that is, I can't demonstrate it any better than that. And that's really, really powerful that you see that and you see, I can't like, that's why we always say, I like to show instead of tell, like, yep. this is, this is the money right here. This is why you want to, if you do reputation management and marketing, you got to go with somebody that actually knows the difference between third and first party reviews and understand schema because look, there's a lot of different <clears throat> choices out there for reputation companies and there's, you know, there's bird eye and there's all these other, I, look, I don't, we've been doing this. I've been doing this specifically for almost 10 years, almost a decade now. And, and the, there's a lot of different competition out there, but first of all, you're going to be treated like a, like a number with a lot of those companies, I'll tell you. And they, they don't look at holistically what, you know, what opportunities there are in terms of first and third party reviews and that they're both important, especially right now, and using schema in order to get these reviews to even show up in the search results with your website organically. So, um, you know, that's the key. You want to get as many stars to show up with your website when somebody actually shows, types in your business name, city, and the word reviews. And um, outside of that, I mean, what other, what other things do we want to talk about today? That that was really our main topic of a discussion, okay. Ryan, and we're currently out of time. So <laughs> okay. I'd like to invite everybody to uh, take our online reputation quiz that we have. Okay. So I've got the link dropped in the comments below so that you can click on that and find out what your reputation score is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really good. I mean, yeah. If it, and by the way, when you go and do that, you'll get answers. There's, it's just a 45 second quiz, five questions. Basically within 45 seconds, you will get some very good value out of it. You will know where you stand at the end of it because you'll get a, um, you'll get a score out of, out of 10. And um, the higher towards 10 that you get, the more, the better you're managing your reputation. We'll also give you the opportunity uh, after you take the quiz to take an audit so you can get a full audit to see where you stand with your reputation uh, for your business and we'll show you you know how many you know how you're showing up you know um, online with your reputation and um, yeah just m.me forward slash accelerate marketing um, thank you so much crystal for showing your screen there and and setting this up yeah. um, great job and anything else you want to add Nope, that's, that's all I want to add. And tomorrow we'll continue our discussion with um, online reputation. Oh, and the next week, what are we talking about too? Oh, next week will be, let's see, what did we talk about? Oh, next week will be local SEO and the week after that will be Google My Business. Okay, stay tuned guys. Thanks.